What is up, Ducks fans? We are on our way to Honda Center yet again for game six of this eight-game homestand. Tonight, it is the Dallas Stars in town, and um, there's not a whole lot to be said about the Stars. Um, they're 29, 11, and four. That pretty much says what, what needs to be said. They're uh, an offensive machine, and we're gonna have to be um, on top of our game today. Luckily, <clears throat> excuse me, luckily we've been playing well defensively, so um, I uh, hope you know we'll be able to limit them tonight, but still, I expect them to get a lot of scoring chances, um, so because uh, they create their own chances, so uh, it's gonna be scary, but um, like I said, we just have to limit their, their opportunities. Um, so the Dallas Stars, they're one of the teams, um, you all know, they're one of my least favorite teams in the NHL, and um, the main reason for that really is because of how much their fans hate us. It's like I didn't really necessarily have anything against the Stars until I really saw um, how, uh, how their fans um, act toward the Ducks. Um, I actually have been to a Ducks game in Dallas before, and... Um, even without that, I just I, I know how uh, I, I I know how the Stars fans uh, feel about the Ducks, and um, it just makes me hate them. It's like if you're gonna hate us, I'm gonna hate you, and um, and also uh, I I know a big reason, at least lately for the last couple years, why Stars fans uh, feel especially sore toward the Ducks is because of that 2014 first round playoff series, which is one of my favorite. Uh, hockey playoff series I've ever seen. Um, it was incredible, and uh, the finish was the best part because, you know, Dallas is up 4-2 to two with just, like, minutes left. Their fans think they have it in the bag and that they're going back to Anaheim for Game 7. They start the chance, you know, like, Perry sucks. They, they, they have that one going. And, um, you know, just being, being clowns, and then we score twice, go to overtime, win the game 5-4, to four and uh, close out the series on the road. So definitely one of my favorite hockey games of all time as well. Not just series, but that game six, uh, one of my favorite hockey games. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, anyway, something fun about, <clears throat> about that game. My wife and I were actually at a watch party at Honda Center uh, that night for game six. And um, the, uh, somebody got an awesome video of us celebrating the game tying goal, not the game winning goal, but the goal that made it four to four. And, um, my wife and I are like at the front of the video. Like we're like, it's at, like everyone's backs are facing the camera, but we're like at the back of the crowd. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, um, if, if I can manage to get that clip of the video, um, I'm going to put it in this video so you all can see it just cause it's pretty awesome. Um, being able to, uh, to uh, see us celebrating. Um, so anyway, good times. Um, now tonight, not as good of times. Obviously, we're not having as good of a season as we were in 2014. Um, hopefully, you know, we can um, come out and score goals. Uh, Freddie Anderson starting his second straight game, so um, I'm okay with that. It's just it does make me believe there is something wrong with John Gibson. I don't know what it is. Maybe just a minor strain. Maybe he's under the weather. I don't know, but... Um, for Freddie to be starting two in a row with the way Gibson has been playing lately. I mean, Freddie's been playing great too, though, because you look at the January 1st game against Vancouver, he only allowed one goal. Um, and then you look at um, j just this last game, he only allowed one goal against Ottawa. So uh, I'm not saying Freddie is not playing well, but um, when I, once I heard John Gibson would not be starting tonight, I, I, I do hope he's okay. Um, so, you know, that remains to be seen. But Freddie will be starting tonight. Um, I got my Corey Perry jersey on because... We're playing the stars, so come on, going to be going to be wearing Corey Perry, and um, my prediction: I think we're going to need to score a lot of goals tonight. I think Dallas is going to score a lot of goals, so I'm going to say it's a high-scoring hockey game, and I think that we win. And uh, I'm going to call it five to four um, in honor of that game six uh, two years ago that we won five to four. So that's my prediction, and I will see you all after the game. That felt so good. Oh my gosh. The Ducks just, in the first period, completely smashed the Stars. 
with four first period goals. It was the first time we've had four goals in a period since December 17th, 2013 at Detroit. And it was, it was awesome. It was in a 12 minute, 32 second span. And whoo, it was amazing. Um, first got started off, Jakob Silverberg scored. Then Sammy Votnin scored, and those two goals were only um, like 31 uh, seconds apart. And then um, later in the first period, we had a power play goal from Hampus Lindholm, and then a goal from Corey Perry, and those two goals were only, I believe, 33 seconds apart. And uh, <laughs> that was just unbelievable. Um, and uh, the Corey Perry goal was just so pretty, too, because it was just like from Gessy to Theodore to Perry, and it was just like, you know, tic-tac-toe, like, boom. And uh, obviously, you know, when Corey Perry scores against the Stars, you know, every Stars fan feels a dagger in their gut, so that made it even sweeter. But, um, oh, man, it was it was awesome. The first period was just insane. Um, and then we did a great job limiting the stars opportunities, uh, just the whole game. We didn't score again for the, the rest of the game. Um, we outscored them four to zero in the first, they had a shorthanded goal in the second, which was frustrating. Um, and then they had a power play goal in the third, but overall they only had 24 shots on goal. We blocked 22 shots. So, um, we really did a good job limiting their opportunities tonight. They, um, did have that power play goal in the third, which snapped a, new club record for us that we actually set tonight of 34 straight penalties killed off. So that was a uh, record that we set for ourselves tonight, but then Dallas did snap it in the third. Um, so that was really cool. Oh, it was even better because there's not normally a lot of stars fans at these games and surprise, surprise, the stars are, you know, among the central division leaders and, um, we just had Stars fans around us tonight, and so that made it even sweeter, though, having Stars fans to our left across the aisle and to our right in our section, and uh, it, it was just, yeah, it, it, it was great being able to just, you know, make them uh, feel like they were on the road, so, uh, man, um, so yeah, we dominated the Stars. I couldn't have asked for really a, a, a better game for us to have tonight. Um, it was it was really fun so <sighs> yeah um now we have the kings coming up on sunday so back to back er, hated teams for me so um that's not going to be particularly fun depending on how many kings fans we have around us so we'll we'll see when that comes but I mean, we're seven two and one now since Christmas, and uh, we improved to four and two on the homestand. We've collected fifteen of our last twenty possible points. Um, I yeah, we are uh, we're having a, a good stretch. I mean, I you know two back back to back games now with with four goals. Um, are the Ducks of last season kind of reemerging? I mean, I don't know. You know, seven two and one in our last ten. I. I mean, it's it's a 10-game sample now. It's not a small sample size. So um, I really hope we keep playing like this. We are still out of a playoff spot right now. Um, the Pacific Division just a log jam. Um, and uh, we're technically fifth behind, I think, Vancouver, San Jose, Arizona, and, of course, L.A. at the top. Um, and uh, Vancouver, we still have a couple games in hand against them, but San Jose, I think, has a game in hand against us, and they have a point uh, over us. So... Obviously, it's, you know, barely past the halfway point of the season. We have a lot of time to make up those those points, especially with the way that we're playing. We just, we need to keep this up. I mean, I'm I'm very optimistic right now, very excited. Um, we faced a very good hockey team tonight. Whether they're slumping or not, we faced a very good hockey team, a very strong offensive hockey team, and just, like I said, held them, held them in check, 24 shots, blocked 22 of their shots, um and uh, held them to two goals. So four to two Ducks victory. Um, and uh, yeah, we play the Kings in a couple days. So go Ducks, and I will see you all later.